Hello, this is Angie with Spotted Home Barcelona. Today we are visiting a four bedroom apartment with one bathroom located in the Jambre neighborhood. We are off of the street of Cara de Rosello, and this is pretty much the city center. We are really close by the Sagrada Familia Monument, uh, I'm sorry, Cathedral. Alright, so that's a little bit about the area, and I'm going to show you the rest of the space, so let's go. So here is the front door of the apartment. We are located on the second floor and there is an elevator in the building. Just to give you a quick idea of the setup of this apartment here. Um, so here's the front door and then to the right of the front door you have this little corridor with bedroom number one, two, three. And then bedroom number four is going to be right here. Straight ahead we have the living room. And then around the corner we have the bathroom to the right and the kitchen is going to be to your left. So today there there is four bedrooms but we will only be seeing uh, two out of the four bedrooms. So that will be bedroom one and two. So let's go ahead and just take a look at bedroom number one. So it's a double bedroom with a access to a balcony which we'll see in just a second. So there's your double bed with a little nightstand. Here's the view from this side. Okay, so there's your light up the ceiling. There's some shelving at the top right here. You have your double bed with a little bit of mirrors right here. Um, and then this is it has a nightstand. It has three drawers. I'm not going to be going through uh, the things because it's currently occupied by a tenant. Um, and then you do have a little desk right here with a little, I think that's a little space heater, a yeah, laundry hamper. And then here's your wardrobe. Again, it's filled with the tenant's thing, so we won't be seeing that today. Okay, now we're going to enter the balcony. Let's see if we can change these settings here. Okay, so here's the street view. This is Cara de Roseo. Okay. Alright, now we're going to go into bedroom number two. It's a smaller bedroom, but it also has natural light because it has a view of the street. Okay. So here's your wardrobe. It also has a little side table with three drawers. There's a single bed. It's a window. And you have some hooks right here. And a mirror. Um, the view is going to be exactly the same what we just saw from bedroom number one, so I won't go ahead and repeat that. But um, again, so here's bedroom number three. It's currently occupied. And then bedroom number four is right here. All right, so right at the front door entryway, you have some storage here. And uh, it's like it's filled with some random things like cleaning products. Okay, here's a living room. It has two sets of couches. Here's one, here's two. You have a mirror on the wall, and you have a little bit of a storage space with a printer over here. Here's a view from this side. There's a TV, and then a uh, chest of drawers here, and some storage right here as well. Okay. Now we're entering into the bathroom. It's a good sized bathroom. There's a toilet. See so how you open the shower. Okay, there you are. So there's a closer look. Sink. There's some storage down below. There's a second toilet over here. And then on this side you have some hooks for your towels and then a cabinet. You can't see that. A cabinet for some of your things. Okay, right, now we're gonna go ahead and enter the last room. I'm just a lighting here. So there's this little sunny corridor where you can uh place your laundry for drying. And here's the view from here. And also wanted to mention that there's this little guy right here. It's a little turtle, he's sunbathing. Alright, so let's go into the kitchen. It's a good size kitchen. It has a refrigerator right here. On the counter we have a toaster. Looks like a water kettle, rice maker, microwave. And then you have like a dish rack to dry your dishes. Here's your water heater. Laundry machines right here. And then there is an oven. So let's take a closer look at everything. All right, refrigerator is good size. It's quite large for Barcelona in my opinion. All right, and the freezer is down below. Here we have all your utensils, spoon, forks, and knives. More kitchen supplies. Put this back in. Okay, lots of teas. 
and pots and pans and a strainer cheese grater. Right above we have food storage. This is a gas burner with uh, four burners, one, two, three, four. Above the stove you have your oils and spices. And you got some more stuff on the top of the microwave. Looks like uh, more food storage. And then right above the sink right here, there's, a, there's all these mugs to hang. And then uh, more plates and cups and dishes. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the sink. So it just looks like it's cleaning supplies. And so that's it. All right, guys, so that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Angie with Spada Home Barcelona. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.